How to calculate bias in statistics. If you're working with data and want to ensure your estimates are accurate, understanding how to calculate bias is essential. Let's break it down step by step. When you're estimating a parameter, like the mean or proportion of a population, you use an estimator. This estimator is a statistic that you calculate from your sample data. The bias of this estimator is the difference between its expected value and the true value of the parameter you're trying to estimate. To calculate the bias, you need to find the expected value of your estimator and then compare it to the true value. Here's the formula. Bias of the estimator equals expected value of the estimator nidus true value of the parameter. For example, let's say you want to estimate the success probability the, in a binomial distribution. The standard estimator for theta is frac x n, where x is the number of successes in n trials. This estimator is unbiased because its expected value is exactly theta. However, if you use a different estimator, like frac x plus 1 n plus 2, this one is biased because its expected value is not equal to theta. To see how this works, let's calculate the expected value of this biased estimator. The expected value of frac x plus 1 n plus 2 is frac n theta plus 1 n plus 2. When you compare this to the true value theta, you'll find that the difference is not zero, indicating that the estimator is biased. Another way to think about it is through the mean squared error, MSE, which combines both the variance and the bias of an estimator. The MSE is calculated as the sum of the variance of the estimator and the square of its bias. So, even if an estimator is biased, it might still have a lower MSE than an unbiased one if its variance is small enough. For instance, when calculating the sample variance, the naive estimator that divides by n is biased. However, dividing by n minus 1 gives an unbiased estimator. But in some cases, using a biased estimator with a smaller variance can result in a lower MSE overall. In practical terms, to calculate bias, you need to determine the expected value of your estimator based on your sample data. Compare this expected value to the true value of the parameter. Calculate the difference between these two values to find the bias. By understanding and calculating bias, you can make more informed decisions about which estimators to use in your statistical analysis. This helps ensure that your estimates are as accurate as possible and reflect the true characteristics of the population you're studying.